welcome back to another video. It's me, I'm in here from Maska Tech. And today we're going to learn how to use font families. So make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video. And hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's get right into the video. Alrighty guys, so right over here we are, we are on Wishful Studio Code. And as far as I know, I hope you guys remember this sentences um, from our previous video. So I'll be showing you guys like a little font, how to use like font family today. So here I have my um, live server open and this is how it looks before I use my font family. So remember this pic um, picture or stop the sentences here and then after i use my font family it's gonna look so unique and cool so we're gonna go to here go over here and then like let's enter i need some space to write it so we're gonna start with writing f-o-n-t so mine just comes up like yeah over here so i'm just gonna click font family and then next um I really want to use cursive first, so I'm going to be using cursive. So you're going to spell cursive down because some of them work on your computer and some of them don't because every computer has like different, um, every computer has different properties. So it's going to be kind of like some work, some don't. So yeah, we're going to write cursive, C-U-R-S-I-V-E, -E, cursive. And then we're going to end it with a semicolon here, not a colon. Um, now let's go check. Oh my god, that's like really unique and cool. So, do you guys still remember the previous um the previous paragraph sentences that it looked like? It looks so plain, so like uncool, but now it looks so unique and like so cute. Now we're going to try some other ones. So, in past days, like when they didn't have any printers or anything in computers, they used to use typewriter. So to make our font look like typewriter, we're going to put down monospace. M-O-N-O-S-P-A-C-E. Monospace. Now we're going to check it out. This is how like they used to write it on a typewriter. Like that's how the font looked exactly. So... There's like a lot more um, fonts, but we'll be doing like three to four today. So now we're going to try fan fancy, F-A-N-T-A-S-Y, fancy. Now let's check it out. Oh my God, that looks so big, but it's like still so cool and unique because like um, it's kind of like a vibing style for me. So yeah, I like it. Now let's try another one. So I'm, I'll be trying Sans. S E R S. Um, that looks plain usual, but still, it's kind of bolding out to you, so I still like it. Um, last one we'll be trying. Um, S-E, serif, only just, just serif. So this is like not really building out as you all know. So I'll be showing you guys one thing. So I'm going to like copy existed. So remember, it's like over here, okay? Now, here, now we're going to go to Visual Studio Code and write a different font and we're going to write serif, but we're going to add sans to it. So, S-A-N-S. -S. Um, now we're going to see where it went. So, I remember it's right, it was right here before then, but then it moved kind of like further away as I noticed, but I'm not really good at like noticing things. But we forgot, like this doesn't go here. Okay, now we're going to go check. Yep, it got bigger and bolded. So now we're gonna try on some computers. No, most of these don't work, as I just said, because all computers have different properties. But we're gonna try a 
quotation marks first, then H E L V E T I C A. So this is kind of like a hard word to remember or a spelling to remember, but like, yeah, I tried my best to remember it. So yeah, now let's go ahead and check it out how it looks. So it's kind of the same thing, but like it's sans serif doesn't work on your computer. I hope this one does. So yeah, guys, that was it for this video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Bye. I'll see you next time.